Great to be here with you. Um, 2014 was um, the year, if you will, of the sharing economy or the uberification of all services. And we talk about insurance and regulatory issues, but the critical issue is the destabilization of the firm and the fine division of labor and how it reorganizes potentially the entire services sector. And the critical question around that is this. Will it allow embedding economic production in the same kind of social solidarity trust models that we saw with the emergence of Wikipedia? Or will the externalization of risk onto the people formerly known as employees create severe disruption? Carl Polanyi described the Industrial Revolution in terms of a double movement, where on one side, market forces try to tear themselves away from social obligation in order to increase the mobility of capital and labor, while social forces counter push in order to prevent the market from creating massive depredations. What we saw in the first 15 years of the internet was that social solidarity, trust, cooperation, social models that had been centrally social and peripheral economically came to be used to produce things instead of through markets, firms, or the state across the domains of knowledge production. Commons-based management of inputs and outputs organized along social lines like free and open source software displaced the boundary of the firm to produce some of the very central components that gave us the internet and that great knowledge utility, Wikipedia. What we saw in addition was a massive explosion of fan culture, of amateur culture, of self-creation of all cultural products, and perhaps most importantly from the perspective of democracy, the emergence of citizen journalism as a central part of decentralizing power over the setting of public agendas to a much wider uh, range. Perhaps the most important was that what was theoretically impossible, collaborative motivations that are based on the social uh, uh, and moral, came to be a solution space of everything from fundraising for artists through a, a better government and to disaster response systems. What we've seen in the last five years is that the social model for sharing and increasing optimization of resources like couch surfing gets displaced in part by things calling sharing economy as though they are, when in fact they are an on-demand economy. Not replacing the social for the firm, but replacing an ever finer division of uh, labor. This is now exploding across all of the domain of services from dog walkers to on-demand physicians. And these together raise the question of whether across this entire domain of services, not only knowledge, we will see increasing flexibility and utilization, or as this series of lawsuits from the last two, a few months suggests, an externalization of risk onto this population so that instead of just flexibility and independence, we're also getting extreme disruption. This will not be primarily determined by technology, but by institutions. The same technological and economic components that gave us citizen science and open source software like Foldit and GitHub also powered the first online labor market, Amazon Mechanical Turk. But Amazon Mechanical Turk was alienated and without a shared sense of solidarity and trust. It's not impossible to build systems that will incorporate the social into the economic. It depends on what firms do, it depends on what NGOs do, it depends on what policy do, but it is a critical requirement that we build systems that reincorporate the social into the economic. Just as the poor law of 1834 created a national labor market, increased flexibility, increased labor flow, but at the expense of the depredations of Manchester and London, created a century of battles, instability, and ultimately collapse of the long 19th century, so too the $5 day was the beginning of the solution that the 20th century gave. If you look at Google Trends, you see that Occupy was a transition point in American debates over income inequality. And that marked this clash for the first time. For 15 years, the social was embedded in the economic and the social was embedded in the political. 
in the last five years, they're diverging. The same power of social production that allows for tremendously effective social mobilization is now coming to bear against the social disruption that these new economic models are building as they extend from knowledge production to services. If we cannot solve that tension, we are in for severe disruption. Thank you.